What's up guys, CB Bricks here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my latest LEGO Star Wars mock. And this is the First Order Dreadnought from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now the First Order Dreadnought is one of the more intimidating vehicles in the First Order's arsenal, as was shown in the first scene of The Last Jedi. Um, now I try to capture that as best as I could in this mid-scale kind of form. Now I've built several uh, other large-scaled ships in this mid-scale kind of form from the Rebels and also the Empire. Um, but in this case, I use kind of a simple color scheme of dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, and black to recreate um, this really intimidating ship. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, first and foremost, I'm gonna address this stand that I built. Um, I really like it because it kind of keeps it at an angle if you would wish, but you can also adjust it to keep the whole ship at a flat surface kind of thing. Um, it has some clear bricks underneath those kind of panel pieces and a black plate on the bottom to keep it stable. As you can see from the bottom, it is just attached by one of those hinge pieces and it just kind of stops there when you want to angle it. And I really like how that looks. Uh, but you could also easily uh, remove it and just lay it flat on the ground if you so choose. Now starting here at the front, you can kind of get an idea of the whole shaping of this ship. Uh, you can see that the actual angles of the side are built up using these uh, 2x3 uh, light bluish gray plates. And they're kind of all just stacked up along the edges. Um, also, I used a lot of these kind of grill pieces to create some texture as well as other plates and studs kind of come into play as well. For these little turrets, I use binocular pieces, which I really like to use at this scale. Uh, they do seem to be a little bit too large or actually really big in this case, and there should be a lot more of them, um, but uh, they were really important in the movie, so I just felt like I need to add them, and I think that these did the best job. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is this greebling that I did along the edges. Um, they're pretty similar uh, styles and designs on both sides, but they, usually, they utilize a lot of bar, clips, um, and grill pieces to kind of create really nice textures that are pretty apparent on the actual ship. Now here towards the rear section, it actually houses one of my favorite details that I put into this actual vehicle, and that's this large kind of circular area uh, here in the middle. I really like it because I use these kind of wedge pieces to create the circular effect and kind of the indentation. And it's really important in the movie, I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, I just had to include that. And here in the section you can kind of see the bridge, I think you would call it. Um, it looks, I, I wanted to add more detail to it, but at this scale it was kind of difficult and I had to keep it really thin. But I think I did a decent job. I added some of the trans uh, red pieces to actually uh, showcase some like windows and stuff which are pretty apparent in the movie. I also added some uh, kind of prints there to add some texture and I changed up the color here with some dark bluish gray with those slopes. Now on the rear section you can see that we have these engines that are going along the back. Now we didn't really get a good shot from the back um, in the actual movie so I kind of took some creative liberties uh, also took some inspiration from previous Star Destroyers uh, so I just kind of put some different wheel and uh, vehicle kind of pieces such as wheels and thrusters and kind of just put them together. I think it looks pretty nice. You can also get a nice idea of how I connected these side panels. Um, I used some hinges and if I didn't mention before you can see the hinges up here along the nose. Um, so that's how those are connected and you can also see some uh, greebling with these bars and kind of black there. Now while I'm back here I will showcase the main feature of this uh, build that I put into it. Now if you take this middle um, thruster back here, uh, you can actually turn it. And if I straighten this out really quickly, and you turn this, you can see that these guns come out. Now these are really important in the movie, I'm not going to say exactly what they did, uh, but you can see there's a gear train underneath, and as you turn them, um, they come in and out. I really like how that works. There's also a friction gear in there to make sure they don't pop out um, anytime and it's actually probably easier to take a look at it if I move the stand, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm just gonna do that again. You just, as you can see, you turn those, and it's really smooth, really slick. Um, I did wanna cover them up, but I didn't end up doing that, but I think it's fine just uh, for the purposes of this mock. Now overall, I'm extremely happy with the outcome of this mock, and it is by far my favorite um, mid-scale model that I have built even though it is pretty small compared to 
um, the actual size of the real thing. Um, so, if you want to see some more awesome LEGO Star Wars content like this from The Last Jedi, go ahead and leave a comment and leave me some suggestions so I can build what you guys want to see. Um, so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see that content when it comes. Um, and thanks for watching, guys.